3i Atlas is set to pass close to Jupiter, sparking intriguing theories and speculations about its potential behavior. As it continues its journey through the solar system, many have proposed hypothetical scenarios about what might happen during its upcoming close approach to the gas giant. Some believe that this encounter could alter the trajectory of the object, potentially bringing it back towards the inner solar system. These ideas stem from the notion that Jupiter's gravity could be used for a slingshot maneuver. Could this encounter trigger a shift in its trajectory, sending 3i Atlas hurtling back toward the center of the solar system and potentially toward Earth itself? The theory of 3i Atlas using Jupiter's gravity is based on the concept of the planet's hill radius, the point at which Jupiter's gravitational influence begins to dominate over the suns. If 3i Atlas were to pass close enough to this zone, it could, in theory, take advantage of the gravitational forces to change its trajectory. Some believe the object could even drop off a probe at this point, perhaps to observe Jupiter or explore the inner solar system. Another theory proposes that the object might use the gravity assist to reverse its direction entirely and head back toward Earth. While this idea has sparked excitement, many experts remain skeptical as such a drastic shift in trajectory seems unlikely for a naturally occurring object like 3i Atlas. In fact, altering the course of an object as fast and massive as 3i Atlas presents significant challenges. Currently traveling at an astonishing 58 kilometers per second relative to the sun, the object is moving far faster than any human-made spacecraft. To change its course through a gravity assist would require a deceleration of about 34.7 kilometers per second, a speed reduction that no natural object could achieve under normal conditions. In order to execute such a maneuver, 3i Atlas would need to slow down dramatically, a task that would require far more energy than is feasible with current propulsion technologies. Without advanced systems in place, this type of change in velocity seems virtually impossible. This brings the conversation to the idea of 3i Atlas being something other than a natural object. Some theorists suggest that the object could be a spacecraft created by an advanced extraterrestrial civilization with the capability to modify its trajectory using artificial propulsion. If 3i Atlas is indeed a craft, the situation changes. Such an object could potentially have the means to slow down and alter its course, using technology far beyond anything humans have developed. But even then, the energy required to decelerate an object of this size would still be staggering, far exceeding what could be achieved with current propulsion methods. For instance, traditional chemical rockets are simply not up to the task. The fuel requirements to slow down 3i Atlas using chemical propulsion would be enormous, far exceeding the object's own mass. Chemical rockets, though effective for smaller spacecraft, would not be able to provide the necessary thrust to make the drastic changes in velocity needed for a gravity assist. Similarly, ion engines, which are more efficient than chemical rockets, still face the challenge of providing sufficient thrust for such a large object. While ion engines can offer greater efficiency, they are limited by the fact that they produce relatively low thrust. The fuel required for such a system to slow down 3i Atlas enough to execute a gravity assist would still be unreasonably high, making the idea seem highly improbable. Looking beyond traditional propulsion, some scientists have begun to explore the potential of more advanced methods, such as plasma drives, which could offer a solution to the problem of altering 3i Atlas's trajectory. Plasma drives are still very much in the experimental phase, but they present a promising avenue for achieving much higher exhaust velocities compared to conventional chemical rockets. This could theoretically enable 3i Atlas to decelerate at the required rate for a gravity assist or course correction. Plasma propulsion works by ionizing gas to create plasma and then using electromagnetic fields to accelerate it to incredibly high speeds. This method offers the possibility of much more efficient thrust generation, making it a compelling alternative to chemical rockets, which are limited by the speed at which they can expel propellant. However, the energy requirements for operating a plasma drive on an object as massive as 3i Atlas would still be enormous. While plasma propulsion systems can achieve higher exhaust velocities, the amount of energy needed to accelerate 3i Atlas sufficiently to change its course remains a significant challenge. Even if the technology advances enough to make plasma drives more efficient, the scale of energy required to slow down an object traveling at such high velocities, tens of kilometers per second, would be massive. 
The fuel needed for such a maneuver would also be substantial, requiring vast amounts of power, likely far beyond what could be generated using current or even foreseeable technology. As a result, while plasma drives present an exciting theoretical solution, the practicality of using this method on a large, fast-moving object like 3i Atlas remains uncertain, and further breakthroughs in both propulsion and energy generation would be necessary to make such a system viable. One alternative concept that has been proposed for altering 3i Atlas's trajectory is aerogravity, also known as aerobraking. This technique involves using the atmosphere of a planet to slow down an object, a maneuver successfully employed by spacecraft traveling to Venus and other planets. The process works by the spacecraft dipping into the outer layers of a planet's atmosphere, where friction with the gases generates drag, gradually reducing its speed. While this method has proven effective in some cases, applying it to 3i Atlas presents immense challenges, primarily due to the object's high velocity and Jupiter's atmospheric characteristics. If 3i Atlas were to enter Jupiter's atmosphere, it could potentially bleed off enough speed to change its trajectory. However, the object's current speed of around 76 km per second would generate extreme heating as it interacts with the gas giant's thick atmosphere. This intense friction would likely cause the object to experience temperatures far beyond what most natural bodies can withstand. Additionally, the forces involved would subject 3i Atlas to deceleration rates that could tear it apart, possibly fragmenting the object before it could fully decelerate. While aerobraking might slow the object to some extent, the risks of disintegration from the extreme conditions make this maneuver highly unlikely to succeed. Despite these obstacles, some scientists entertain the possibility that advanced extraterrestrial technology could make such a dramatic maneuver feasible. If 3i Atlas were not a natural object, but rather an artificial spacecraft, it might possess technology far beyond current human capabilities, perhaps propulsion systems that could withstand or even take advantage of Jupiter's atmospheric conditions. For example, one such theoretical method is the use of laser sails. These sails rely on powerful lasers to push a spacecraft by using high-energy photons to transfer momentum to a reflective surface. While this method holds promise for propelling objects in space, the energy required to power such a system would be staggering. To accelerate something the size of 3i Atlas, the lasers would need to be incredibly powerful, and the level of energy production required would be well beyond anything humanity has currently achieved. The prospect of a civilization possessing such advanced technology is certainly intriguing, but remains speculative, and the feasibility of deploying laser sails on an object of this scale is uncertain, even with future advancements. Another idea that has been explored in greater detail is the concept of magnetic sails. Magnetic sails operate by interacting with a planet's magnetic field or the solar wind, allowing an object to slow down or change course without the need for traditional propulsion systems or fuel. This technology is based on the interaction between charged particles, like those in the solar wind, and the magnetic fields of celestial bodies. By generating a magnetic field on the spacecraft or probe, the object could, in theory, use this interaction to decelerate or alter its course. Magnetic sails could offer a more efficient way to decelerate an object as massive as 3i Atlas without relying on conventional fuels. However, the challenge remains. To affect an object of 3i Atlas's size and speed, the magnetic field would need to be extraordinarily powerful. Even with advanced magnetic technology, harnessing enough energy to alter the object's trajectory remains a daunting task, and the technology has yet to be proven on a scale large enough to influence something as massive as 3i Atlas. One of the most enigmatic features of 3i Atlas that continues to capture the attention of scientists is its anti-tail. This strange, high-energy feature extends behind the object and has been observed to defy the expected behavior of such an object in the solar wind. Some theorists speculate that the anti-tail might not just be a natural phenomenon, but could represent an engineered propulsion system. The idea that 3i Atlas could be using a magnetic sail or other propulsion system embedded within its anti-tail adds a new layer of intrigue. If this hypothesis is correct, then 3i Atlas may already be equipped with the technology needed to alter its course, including executing a gravity assist or other complex maneuvers. However, the true function of the anti-tail remains delusive, and more research is needed to fully understand its role in the object's behavior. 
if it can indeed be harnessed for propulsion, it would suggest that 3i Atlas is not simply an interstellar wanderer, but a highly engineered craft capable of executing precision maneuvers. If 3i Atlas is indeed a probe or spacecraft, the next question becomes even more intriguing. Why would an advanced extraterrestrial civilization choose to send it back toward the inner solar system, and more specifically, toward Earth? The motivations behind such a maneuver would be nothing short of extraordinary. Some scientists have speculated that 3i Atlas could be part of a long-term reconnaissance mission, carefully observing Earth and its neighboring planets in the solar system. If this is the case, 3i Atlas might be gathering crucial data, information about the planet's ecosystems, its atmosphere, or even its inhabitants for a future encounter or interaction with humanity. This reconnaissance could be the first stage in a much broader plan to study the behavior of life forms in this part of the galaxy, perhaps preparing for a future contact or even an exchange of information. If 3i Atlas is indeed gathering intelligence, the question remains, why now? Why has it ventured so far into the solar system, and why is it approaching Earth? Could this be part of a larger, interstellar survey of habitable planets? Or perhaps Earth has caught the attention of the alien civilization for reasons yet unknown? As the object continues its journey, scientists are left to consider the potential implications. Could the aliens behind 3i Atlas be planning an observational mission, one that aims to understand how humanity functions before any kind of contact is made? Is 3i Atlas simply a passive observer, silently gathering data, or is its presence more purposeful, the first move in a larger interstellar communication initiative? Alternatively, others have proposed more dramatic scenarios, suggesting that 3i Atlas could be preparing for a direct encounter with Earth. This could take the form of an alien mission to make contact with humanity, to assess whether Earth is ripe for interstellar diplomacy or trade. But more ominously, some have speculated that the object could be the vanguard of an alien presence, preparing the way for something far more significant, perhaps even a hostile engagement. If this scenario is correct, 3i Atlas could be gathering intelligence on Earth for reasons that are less about curiosity and more about strategy, assessing the planet's vulnerabilities, its resources, and its inhabitants' technological capabilities. As 3i Atlas continues its journey through the solar system, its peculiar characteristics and unexpected behavior will undoubtedly keep scientists on edge. Whether it is a natural object or an advanced piece of alien technology, the presence of 3i Atlas raises more questions than answers. Its strange tail, its eye velocity, and its potential for maneuvering all suggest that there is much more to learn. Scientists around the world continue to track its movements closely, aware that the object could reveal groundbreaking insights into both interstellar travel and the potential for intelligent life beyond Earth. Theories regarding its origins, purpose, and the technology behind its movements will continue to evolve. But one thing is certain, 3i Atlas is no ordinary visitor from the stars, and its story is far from over. Even if the idea of 3i Atlas executing a gravity assist to return to the inner solar system seems improbable, its strange behavior challenges the boundaries of what is possible. The object has already defied expectations, exhibiting properties that have surprised astronomers and fueled speculative theories. As it draws closer to Jupiter, the mystery surrounding its true nature only deepens. Whether 3i Atlas is a naturally occurring object or an advanced alien technology, the presence of 3i Atlas presents an extraordinary opportunity for discovery. As it continues its journey through the vastness of space, 3i Atlas will undoubtedly keep scientists guessing, providing new insights into the mysteries of the cosmos and our place within it.